everybody. Hang on, little one. Let me get you some up here on the stoop. stitches that's in the wound and they're going to see if they can get any infection to come out. Um, they're giving him an antibiotic through IV and they're also giving him some antibiotics, um, I mean some IVs, uh, fluids the dehydration his kidney function tests have come back better uh, but they're still wanting him to stay hydrated Hi. so he's in good spirits his sister come to see him today and his sister Karen oh that's a car hang on very loud car, and um, hang on, Simon. And um, let's see, I've been there a couple of times, well, three times today. I went this morning, this afternoon, and then this evening. Um, and then I brought him uh, after the surgeon came. Uh, they wanted, uh, they didn't let him eat all day because they didn't know what the surgeon was going to do. And then finally, when, after the surgeon came, he said that he could have something to eat. And he said, go get him whatever he wants. Go get his favorite food. So, I went and got his food. And, um, he ate every bit of it. So, that was good. Thank you. And um there we go. Hello. Come here, baby. Alright, there you go. Thank you, Simon. So he's still there. Hopefully he'll get to come home tomorrow. Um I guess it depends on how the procedure goes. And um but he is feeling better. He was in good spirits. He's talked to a couple of his friends on the phone today. And, um... But he's still down there in the emergency room. Yeah, they're still full. So, they did move him to a different room. Um, they moved him to one over by where the, the ambulances come in. And um, he has his own private bathroom and everything. So he's happy with it. And uh, when I left him just a little bit ago, it was almost nine. Um, he was um, getting a pain pill for his cheek. And uh, he was going to go to sleep, he said. He had a long day getting 
poked and prodded and getting CAT scans and all kinds of stuff. So the CAT scan came back okay. There's not an abscess in there because uh, it's sewn up um, layer by layer by layer is what the surgeon said. It was, it's something on the outside that uh, kind of, you know, is causing all the pain. So he's going to try to clip a couple of stitches tomorrow and just see if they can give him some relief. Um, and and um, that's how he is. So he is getting better. Uh, oh yeah. Um, when I went to go get him something to eat after the surgeon came in, he was on the phone with the bishop. So he talked with the bishop, the bishop today, and they had a really good conversation. And um, and then I actually called the surgeon that removed the tumor today, and um, I kind of let loose um, because it was uh, kind of like a circus there this morning. Uh, where he was, and um, they were, they wouldn't give him any answers, and they wouldn't give me any answers. They wouldn't even, they would, they just were just tight lipped. Um, and uh, I showed them power of attorneys, uh, showed them all kinds of stuff, and they just wouldn't. I mean, there a patient has rights, and. Um, Evidently, whatever I, me cutting loose got the ball rolling because uh, that surgeon was there within a couple hours and things were moving. So, um, I'm glad, you know, that I did that. Uh, as his sister told us back in um, December, before Jim switched positions, we were out to eat and she said, listen, Y'all got in Canada, you have to be your own advocate for your health care because nobody else is going to do it for you. So, that right there was like they gave me the key to open the gates. And as you all know, after we switched his doctor, it all started rolling. We started getting tests done and things started happening. So, it is true. I know that in the U.S. you have to be your advocate to a certain extent, but if you have a really good physician like uh, I had in Atlanta, um, I had a real good internist. Uh, her name was um, Rachel Del Favaro. She was in Alpharetta, Georgia. Um, she's one of the best physicians I've ever known in my life. So I have to give her credit where credit is due. So, anyway, he's going to be okay. He'll be back home. As I said last night, it's just a hiccup. Uh, it's a painful hiccup for him and a worrisome hiccup for me and for you guys. But we appreciate everything everybody's doing behind the scenes. And uh, he, uh, I was reading well all the stuff to him today that was on the comments last night. So, uh, he asked me today, how, how close are we getting to 800000 I says, well, we got a ways to go, but we might can get it done. You know, if people start sharing your videos and your mob videos and asking people to subscribe, we might get to 800000 by September 1st. So, um, we'll see. If not, we'll push for October 1st. Uh, we can only do what we can do, right? Yeah. Got the little family here tonight. Oh, and I got some mamas here with me tonight, too. Um, it must be um, all you can eat kids and the parents come tonight. Yeah. So. get up in the middle of the night last night and I usually don't do that but last night I did and uh, probably nervous energy 
But now I know what Jim's talking about when he says they're out here all night long. When I got up, I heard the biggest rumblings. It sounded like somebody was jumping rope out here on the porch. Um, and it was just them. They were out here playing and eating and eating their dry food and their bird seeds and climbing all over everything. Yes, she were. That's what she was doing. Yeah. Eating it. Eating it. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes. And you're going to get in this, aren't you? Aren't you? Come on up. Come on. Come on. There you go. You're not going to eat it, are you? I didn't think so. You just like to play. Yes, you do. Hi, baby. There you go. Got another one here. Yes. I got three up here. Look at those three. They're just so relaxed. They're like sitting on the couch eating snacks. You're not gonna eat it. I know you're not. You're gonna. You like poking your hand through there, don't you? Yes. And then this one likes playing. Yes, you do. <laughs> hey! We got a fight going on out there. That was probably somebody getting in the territory where they shouldn't be. I would say that's probably what it was. Um, because everybody that's been around here for a while is pretty much part of the family now. But I've got, look at this, I've got three up here and I've got three over there on that stoop. I've got four on the steps, and I've got one right here, I've got one up there, one over here, one over there on that step, so y'all coming back, yeah, everybody alright, got a little heated out there didn't it, somebody got in a fight. Uh, it's just all part of territories, as Jim tells me. I don't understand it because he's been around it for years, and this is my first full year of being around it. So, they fight over everything, that's for sure. But that's natural instincts, isn't it? Heck, humans even do that. They're still fighting out there in the woods. I can hear them. My goodness. There, Coco. Coco, where is your mama? Coco is one of Scooter's babies. I haven't seen Scooter. I guess in two or three days. Heck, they could have been Scooter out there putting a run to somebody. Here you go, Tina. Here you go, guys. Here, baby. There. Here you go. Oh, and I wanted to... Um, Whoever you are, if you're watching tonight, um, Jim had a package arrive here yesterday evening from Amazon, and it was while we were gone, and um, they left it um, on, at the back.
back door and they didn't put it up under the eaves and it was raining. Sorry, my nose is itching. And um, it got wet. Um, it did not ruin the the package. The, what it is is it's a Wi-Fi smart camera. Uh, so Jim can watch the um, the raccoons getting fed live uh, while I'm out here um, from inside the house on this tablet. Um, but what I was getting at is there was a, a, a gift card inside and all the ink was completely ruined on it. So we don't know who it comes from. So... Um, uh -oh. Hey, goodness, we got some fights going on. over there. So I know that she's okay. thank you but I want to go ahead and say thank you um, but the card the gift card the ink was all smeared from the wet so and it was in a paper um, Amazon package holder uh, not a box but one of those paper ones the brown paper one um, so I, I just wanted you to know that uh, so we don't know who you are so Sorry, we can't say thank you not. I'm going to get y'all some cookies. Okay?
Who's here? I got Scooter over here in the corner. For anybody that's been wondering where Scooter is, she has arrived. All right, little guys. Yeah. Let me get these little guys over here. Goodness, I gotta be careful. Raccoons everywhere. My goodness. Hey, little one. There's you some cookies. Here, Mama. There we go. Now let's get some marshmallows. Okay? Yeah. Everybody down below fed. Yep. There we go. Okay, you guys. Goodness, see how little yes, you are. Everybody got some? I think so. My goodness. Let's see what we got here. Wanna say hello? Hmm? Wanna say hello? Got your fruit loops? Yeah. Uh-oh. Say hello. Say hi, Nelly. Say hi. Say hello. Can I say hi? There's Molly. Me. 
Look at this. See, he's already in bed lunch mode. That's what he does. Aren't they little? Hey, little bit. Yeah. Hey, little bit. What you doing? Hi. Little bit's not little anymore, is she? Or he? Can't tell. And then there's my girl. You want to say hi, Lacey? Lacey. Hey. Be nice. Well, everybody, we're going to hang it up for the night. You want to say good night? Say good night. Say good night. Goodness, we got a lot of raccoons. Well, everybody, have a wonderful week, and we will talk to you all tomorrow night. Hopefully, he'll be home. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.